So household income matters. If you're poorer, you're less likely to use the internet. Uh, these days, if you're in a household that earns less than uh, $30,000 a year, about three quarters of those people use the internet uh, compared with the 99% of those who live in households earning $150,000 or over. These are data over time about how those differences have played out. And you can see from day one when we started measuring it at Pew Research, those who are poorer were less likely to be online than those who are richer. But it's still an important thing to note that three quarters of those who are in relatively poor households are now internet users. So the gaps have persisted in many respects and have been actually um, fairly consistent over the years. The, the percentage point difference between the highest income and the lower income folks in our data have, has been for relatively constant over time. But the grand story, of course, is that access has grown and that uh, even those who are in relatively poor households are in uh, a lot better shape now uh, than they were before. Um, it's, it's also the case in broadband, although it's more pronounced uh, with broadband access. About two-thirds of American households now have home broadband access. And an interesting part of the story that we've captured in the past, well, actually, I'll show, you, I'll show you that slide in a little bit. But an interesting part of that story is that broadband access has plateaued in the past uh, four or five years. It really, that number has not budged very much, and in matter of fact, went down a little bit in 2015 compared with years before. But uh, broadband access, home broadband access is, is pronounced. About people who are in households earning less than $30,000 are about half as likely to have home broadband as people who are, are in those higher uh, income brackets. Mobile connectivity has grown, and, and a, a huge part of the story in the United States, as it has been around the world, is that people who have mobile internet connections are, uh, are, are now sort of in the vanguard of what's happening with, with access issues. Three quarters of, uh, of American adults now access the internet at least one way, shape, or form with a mobile device, a smartphone or a tablet or a, or a wirelessly connected uh, laptop. And 96% of those who are in higher income households uh, connect mobily. It's not their only point of access. And matter of fact, uh, the story as you move up the income chain here is that people have multiple points of access the higher their income gets. And they are ubiquitous uh, internet users as opposed to people who are in lesser income and, and uh, other circumstances because they might only depend on or have one access device to, to use. Uh, smartphone ownership is, is, is an amazing part of the story. The smartphone is the fastest deploying consumer electronic technology in the United States and probably in the world in human history. And one of the big stories about technology uh, adoption is that it, the, the uh, arc of adoption has collapsed uh, in the internet age as more and more people do adopt more and more stuff more quickly than ever before. The story about broadband adoption is slower than the story about uh, smartphone adoption, but it's still uh, an amazing part of the story. And now more than two thirds of American adults have smartphones, 90% of those in highest income families have it, and about 80% uh, of teenagers have smartphones uh, as well.